Good morning. It's Friday, July 1st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Finney's Thank You. Our scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 8, where Paul writes, Now I want you to know, dear brothers and sisters, what God in His kindness has done through the churches in Macedonia. They are being tested by many troubles, and they are very poor. But they are also filled with abundant joy, which is overflowed in rich generosity. For I can testify that they gave not only what they could afford, but more, and they did it of their own free will. They begged us again and again for the privilege of sharing in the gift for the believers in Jerusalem. They even did more than we had hoped, for their first action was to give themselves to the Lord and to us, just as God wanted them to do. When our youngest was in the third grade, I accompanied her class on a field trip to a petting zoo as one of the parent chaperones. When it was almost time to walk back to the buses and go home, we got caught in an April shower that would have made Noah's top ten deluge list. We all got drenched, and there was mud everywhere. Everywhere. About a week later, I got a thank you note from Finney, one of our daughter's classmates. It read this. Dear Mr. Brownworth, thank you for helping us on our field trip. I'm sorry you had to walk through the mud and get all wet. I hope you enjoyed it. Love, Finney. (laughs) In Acts chapter 23, Paul was hauled before the Sanhedrin, the Jewish ruling council. He wasn't treated very well. He was insulted. The ruling elders slapped him in the face. Immediately, Paul and the council were embroiled in a debate that could have resulted in imprisonment or death for the apostle. It was going to be a long, muddy day for him. For you today, you may have to trudge through a long, muddy day today, or a month, or a year. The reason God has you where he has you isn't always clear. Sometimes that will be revealed in a note from a third grader next month, or at the throne when you get home. So, whenever the going gets muddy, keep trudging. But enjoy the ride and give thanks, even for a muddy trudge. It's all part of giving you to God before you do anything else. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.